Hey guys, what's up? So it's Dan down here at Zim's Guitars and I have this really unique, very cool old bass that I wanted to show you. This is an early 60s Hagstrom and they call it the Model 1. And uh, yeah, they call this one a Kent Model 1. And uh, it has a like a fiberglass kind of plastic top shell to it. Really cool thing, the wooden bridge, two pickups. You got the lipstick pickup up here in the top and uh, you got a single coil back here in the back and it's really neat how the input jack is right here or the output jack rather. And then on the back you have like a vinyl kind of cover and a lot of times you get these things nowadays and I hear that the vinyl is missing, but this one is really nice condition. You got one little tiny funny little crack right there in the top. But other than that, this guitar is in really nice condition. Uh, you got some typical little scratches and scrapes on the back. Look at them old tuners. And then you got these four little toggle switches right here. So this one's, so with them all off, you know, it's off. When this one is um, on, you get this lip, and it's, it's labeled with an L. As for like, I guess it stands for low. Turn that thing on, and it's this pickup. try the um, bridge pickup right here. Uh, that's the tone that I like right there. Uh, this has a real fast, narrow, thin, C-shaped neck to it. pulled it out of the case and checked the tuning and it, and it was almost spot on right off the bat so it does stay in tune uh, it's a shorter scale length than, than a uh, Fender let me get my tape measure out I'm gonna let me measure the scale length on this thing all right so I got my tape measure out let's take a quick look at this um, I'm going to call that scale length um, 30 and a half. Maybe a little bit closer to 30 and 5 eighths. Well, the low E string is closer to 30 and 3 quarters of an inch. So a closer look at this Hagstrom, baby blue color, beautiful condition. And uh, it has the gold foil inside here still. And I've seen a couple of these on reverb and stuff where that is missing. So that's nice to see that. Rosewood neck. Let's see if I can get up here on this headstock so we can take a look at that. Hagstrom. So how cool is that? So here's the back of the guitar. And it's got these just monster tuning keys on it that look like they are in really great condition. Like I said earlier, a couple of little nicks and scuffs and scratches on the back of the neck. But overall, a real player. And then this is the back of the guitar that has that blue vinyl that almost looks like um, something you would see on an old dashboard of an old car or something like that. A thick vinyl back to that
right, so I'm looking online a little bit about some of the history of Hagstrom. And they were established in 1925 and they were making accordions. And so you can tell by their guitars that some of this material was kind of the stuff that they used when they were making accordions. In the 1940s is when they started making guitars, but they were uh, like classical guitars and stuff like that. And then they actually started making the first electric guitars were in 1958. So this is probably only three or four or five years after that. I don't know the year of this one, but I'm going to guess it's somewhere between 1961 and maybe 1964. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, hey, I got Zim's Guitars t-shirts now. So uh, I will leave a link in the description below and uh, you can uh, get yourself a t-shirt, man. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you.